hey, do you ever feel like no matter how hard you try, you exercise and you eat right, like it's really hard to get good fitness results and the little bit of fitness results that you may get, like they don't stick around for long. They disappear really quickly, right? If you feel that way and you have that pain and you're looking for an easier way to get those results that you want and have them stick around longer, then you're in the right place. You know, I want you to know that if you're looking for a quick fix, which is just like a workout where you're working your butt off and you're eating super strict in order to produce results that you don't even know how you actually got those results. Like what happened in your mind? What happened in your body to actually produce those results? I want you to know that this is not the place for that. I never teach how to get results without understanding how you actually produce those results. And the reason I do that is because when you understand what really caused you to get the success that you want, you're able to produce that success again and again and again. Now, if that sounds like something that you wanna be learning on a regular basis, like how your body actually does what your mind tells it to do so that you can produce the fitness success that you want over and over again, you can go achieve even higher levels and if you you know, happen to fall a little bit out of shape, you can easily get back into shape anytime that you want, then be sure and hit the like button below, subscribe and turn on the notifications, and don't be afraid to leave a comment and or question. I love those things and I will respond. Don't fear, this actually is not that difficult of a fix and the truth is, once you understand what I'm about to share with you, it's actually really easy to overcome. My name is Matt Morgan and I know a lot about trying really hard with your health and fitness just to get nowhere because that's how I spent the first three and a half years of my journey to get fit. Uh, I worked my butt off and worked my butt off to get very little results and I watched those results uh, disappear again and again and again and I know how painful that is. Have you ever heard anybody like an athlete or maybe even somebody that you know talk about how they visualize their success and how that helped them to achieve that success so well. And then you thought to yourself, well, how do they do that? Or why can't I do that or make that happen for me? Here's the cool part. You don't even need to learn how to visualize. What you're actually doing is visualizing perfectly. You're just visualizing in a direction that you don't want. And this is what this looks like. And I know a lot about this because this is exactly what I experienced on my journey when I just couldn't get the success I wanted. You're thinking about things that you don't want to do. You're thinking about why it doesn't work. You're thinking about you're so tired. You're thinking about all the impossible situations that you face out there in the world. Uh, what we experience th during those times are feelings of sadness and anger and frustration and depression and all of that type of stuff. I mean, it really hurts. What you're actually experiencing is visualization because you're feeling something in a strong way. It's just towards something that you don't want. So really all you've got to learn to do in this moment, since now you understand that you can visualize very well, we just need to switch directions. Here's what I mean. We're just going to reverse engineer any of that negative visualization and we're going to switch it in a direction that you want to go. And we're going to do it in two simple steps. Step one is become aware of your negative thoughts and feelings simply by noticing when you're feeling bad. Step two is switching it as fast as possible for the thoughts about the results that you do want, the things that make you feel good. So the best place to apply step one is becoming aware of when you're feeling bad about your health and fitness is, uh, you know, when you go out to actually do the activity that you're going to uh, work out, uh, exercise, however you want to refer to it, or it's actually maybe time to eat, start to get really aware of how you're feeling during those times and really notice if there's any bad thoughts associated with that. The best way to apply step one is to actually look at the activities that you're going to be doing to achieve the health and fitness that you want. We could just call them the actions and that can be your workouts and you know what you're eating. And when you look at those things, where you want to apply this first step of becoming aware of where you're feeling bad is there and look at, do I have any bad feelings about taking these actions? And if you find that you do, remember that that's okay. You've already done your job in step one. If you're not sure where you want to start, um, I do get that a lot for people when they're coming to see me. They're like, well, what are the meal plans that you do and, and what are the exercises that you do? Uh, what we actually did is we created a program called the M3 Dream Body where we have all that stuff mapped out. Uh, we show you how to calculate your calories 
There are awesome recipes in there. And then the workouts, they're as little as one to two hours a week. And they're actually 30 minutes or less per workout. So they're super simple. They're a great place to start. If you don't know uh, where you want to start, that could be a good place for you. And you're going to find the link for that in the description below. And the cool part about it is, is that actually comes with a coaching call with me. Step two, you're going to need the space for where you can shift these negative thoughts. This is where creating the vision of what you want really matters and it's why we spend the majority of our coaching doing that with people because that's what's the most effective thing. The question I often ask people is, how can you go somewhere if you don't know where that is? So part of this is creating the understanding of what and where your success looks like. So this is what it looks like. One, you've discovered that you're having negative thoughts and feelings about what it is that you're about to do to get fit. You did good, you accomplished step number one. Now step number two is creating the vision for what you want. And what this looks like is getting really clear, taking time, you know, your free time in the day to ask yourself the question, if I consistently do this activity, if I consistently eat this uh, or exercise this way, what kind of results am I really going to get? Or what will that feel like in my life? Like what will that, what does that look like for me socially? If you're going on that vacation, you know, what does that really look like for you? How do you feel around your spouse, your family, uh, your extended family? Um, how do you feel when you look in the mirror? You get all these feelings, you know that if you stick to these consistently, these activities, and you really achieve something that's out there that like you've never done before, it's gonna make you feel really good. And this really is the key for getting all the results you want any time in your life. It doesn't just have to be about that I'm about to do this wedding or vacation or whatever this upcoming thing is. All you really wanna do is fast forward to a future that you really want. This is what visualization really does for us. Visualization actually conditions you to experience your world. So if you're thinking negatively, what happens is, is you're conditioning yourself to experience that because you're expecting it. Even though you don't want it, it doesn't matter. You're feeling it strongly. So you're conditioning yourself to expect it. And what happens here is, is that it keeps happening again and again and again. And you hear people tell this story like, gosh, I just can never get this right. That's the whole title of this video is that if you've ever tried really hard to get fitness results that, you know, it seems impossible or you get very little results and they disappear very quickly, that's exactly what your visualization is doing. So it becomes obvious when you understand that, that I'm actually doing that, then the only thing that you really want to be able to do is visualize what you want. So taking the time to create that beautiful picture for you gives you the ability to switch it when you recognize that you're feeling bad. And that's what visualization really does. The only thing that moves us through our world is two things. It's called pain and pleasure. And we're always trying to get away from things that we don't want, things that we think that are gonna cause us pain. And we're always trying to move towards something that will give us some kind of pleasure. When you really start to visualize, what happens is it shifts your sense of pain and pleasure around what it is that you're going to do to get there. And when you have created that beautiful picture of what it is that you want, and you can go there in your mind, you can immediately shift in step number two. And this is how it changes for people. And I get asked this all the time. People go, how do you stay away from foods being unfit? And they think that I have this huge discipline, but I don't. What I actually have is this way of using my mind. To me, by visualizing, you start to look at your old activities, the things that, um, used to keep you unhealthy and unfit and your sense of pain really starts to grow around those things you just don't want to do them anymore and uh, uh example of this is looking at like that piece of cake and going the person that's struggling against that piece of cake says you know oh my gosh i have to live this life it's so hard to be healthy and fit and i have to resist this awesome cake right something that i think you think you know is going to bring you pleasure because you're putting it in your mouth and it tastes good for a minute but then it's you know a moment on the lips a uh, lifetime on the hips right well when you start to visualize what you want the way i do and the way i teach people in the coaching to do uh, you start to look at that piece of cake like you know i don't want that at all because that takes that life away from me so it becomes so much easier for you to push that away and then you start to look at the healthy foods by the way 
the foods that you eat to get to where you want to go with your health and fitness to achieve your dream body, they don't have to taste bad. They can be really good. Uh, they nurture our bodies. They fill us full of energy and it, it, it really starts to just change you for why you love these things. So you're no longer having to resist the things that keep you unhealthy and unfit. You just don't want them anymore. And what you're starting to do is really fall in love with these activities that are building that dream life for you. And this causes you to be motivated to do them. And this causes you to consistently do them. This is what really does it. This is the big mind hack. And here's the really cool thing and why you want to be doing this all the time, because as a human, you are programmable like you. You program beliefs into you all the time. You program habits into you all the time. Uh, habit is just belief expressed in a behavioral pattern. That's all that it really is. So as you switch this, what happens for you is that the way that you now think about getting healthy and fit, really achieving any health and fitness results that you want, including your dream body, it starts to become automatic for you to think and feel in a way that makes you want to do those things. You're motivated to do those things. You're motivated to live that lifestyle. And that's what really makes these things stick in your life forever. What you're actually doing there by choosing to switch your negative thoughts or good thoughts toward what it is that you want to do is you're changing your belief. You're changing your habit of thinking toward doing this. And once you have achieved the habit of thinking positively toward what it is that you want to achieve with your health and your fitness and your body, the sky is the limit. So this is why you really struggle, you know, and this is why I tell people so, so often, I know it sounds like a nice thing to say, but I really mean it when I tell you that it's not your fault. Like if you knew this stuff, you would never program yourself to work against yourself, right? So there's no reason to feel bad about it. But what we can do is we can switch it and we can start getting the results that we want. And we can do it with the two simple steps that I shared with you here. One, you really start noticing and becoming aware when you're feeling bad around the activities that are gonna move you toward the health and fitness in the body that you want. And then two, you create a space where you can go where you feel good about these things. You really get into that visualization of this is what it's like to have those results. I tell people in the coaching all the time, you don't even have to wait until you feel bad. You can practice this anytime you want because the more you practice it, the quicker you start building that belief and it becomes automatic for you to have those thoughts and feelings, those positive thoughts and feelings that are gonna move you toward what you want. And you start getting your results so much faster and those results stay. You know, I really hope that you take this information in this video and you're able to apply it in your life and go out there and get the health and fitness and the body that you really want and deserve. If this resonates with you on a deeper level and you want to find out like, hey, how can I start doing that right now? I want you to know that there's a link down below that you can hit and you can apply for uh, a coaching call with me and I will walk you through that stuff. This is what I do all day, every day. Uh, I work to share this information with people so they don't have to go through the struggles that I went through. It's not hard to overcome these things. We just need exposure to this information and then we really need to be able to apply it in our life and know how to do that. So if that resonates with you, hit the link below, apply for a coaching call and I will start helping you right away.